Hi, and welcome to 4-Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. In this video, we'll show you how you can sort and filter your data in a database in Notion. Notion is a powerful organization tool that we use to organize our work and life, and we have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from novice to pro. Subscribe to 4-Minute Answers, and when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. So we're assuming you already have a database with data in it, and if you don't, and you're just getting started, make sure you check out our previous videos on getting set up in Notion, creating your first database in Notion, and two ways that you can add data to a database in Notion. But let's say you've got a data with uh, database with data in it already. Uh, I've added more items to the database that we've been working on here in our previous video. So now I've got a whole series of data with different dates, different types of ideas, and some notes and URLs. Now the question is, is how do I sort and filter this uh, in order for me to make, uh, in order for me to have this data be more useful for me. So let's say, for example, I wanted to see uh, uh, information by the date. I wanted to sort it by date. So I'm going to uh, click on the database, and then I'm going to uh, see these three dots. Click on the three dots, and then hit sort. Now, when I hit sort, I can add a sort, and basically, I can sort on any of the column headers in my database. So I'm going to sort by date, and I can choose ascending or descending. So I'm going to choose ascending. And now let's take a look at it. I have my earliest ideas first and my latest ideas at the bottom. But let's say since I have several ideas that are here all with the same date, maybe I want to see those in alphabetical order. So I can add an additional sort, uh, a sort that will come after this first sort. And I'm going to alphabetize the idea in ascending order. So now you can see the first sort is it does it by date, but then if for those that have the same date, it does it by alphabetical order. I think that can be a great thing. Now, it's easy for me if I want to, to delete a sort just by clicking on the X here, and it reverts back to what it was before. And I think sorting then becomes a powerful thing. But let's say I only want to see the items that are work-related. Well, so again, I'm going to click on three dots, and this is where filtering comes in. I'm going to click on filter. I'm going to add a filter. And again, similar idea. I can uh, filter on any of the column headers. So I'm going to filter by type of idea. Type of idea contains, let's say I want to look at the ones that are work-related. And now only my work-related ones show up. Now it's important to know that the data never goes away. So even though all I see is this, when I remove the filter, when I remove this filter, remove, all of it is gone. Or all of the, all of the filtering is gone, but all my data is back. And the same is true with sorting. If when I sort, it reverts back to where it was before. So none of these filters or sorts are permanent. You can delete them or change them as you like. For example, I could look at my work stuff first, then I could go back and filter out my personal stuff second if I wanted to. All the data, including the hidden data, remains in the database until you delete the data itself. So that's filtering and sorting uh, your data in Notion. If you've got questions or comments about this or any other aspect of Notion, add it in the comments below. And be sure to check out our other 4-Minute Answer videos to help you become a Notion Pro quickly. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.